Searching for a rental apartment online is as exhausting as it is complicated. Think about it, you're browsing pictures online and they often lure you with promises of spacious interiors, when in reality the kitchen and the bathroom are so close to each other that you can easily confuse the toilet for a seat at the table. Listings can be manipulated in multiple ways. Working previously as a real estate agent, clients who were moving to New York for the first time often shared stories about this incredible and super affordable rental apartment that they saw online. When I asked them why they hadn't rented it, they would often say, well, Rodolfo the broker told us that it was just rented, but they insisted in showing us properties nearby. Have you heard that story before? Does it sound familiar to you? I've heard that story multiple times. It is, it is what we in the industry refer to as bait and switch. It took me years in the industry to gain enough knowledge and understand all the different ways in which a listing could be enhanced or manipulated and all the ways in, in which a renter could be scammed. The, this very knowledge empowered me to become the CEO of a New York-based listings platform based solely on unedited videos and verified data, right? The reality is that there's surprising amount of unreliable data online right now. Unwitting apartment hunters often fail to question the information's legitimacy simply because it was published on a big company's website. So how can you tell the difference between a fake listing and an authentic one? Here's how. Take a close look at the floor. In all honesty, I recommend asking your trusted agent for a video tour as I've always believed them to be more reliable. But if you only have access to pictures, take a close look at the floors. Floors throughout apartments usually have the same design and patterns. So if you notice a different tint or a different pattern throughout the apartment in different pictures, that may be a red flag on the listing's authenticity. Ask the agent if they're representing the landlord or the tenant, which is you. An agent representing the landlord will generally ask for a higher price or a longer commitment to try to benefit their client, the landlord. An agent representing the tenant or you should be actively working to getting you the best possible offer and getting you approved. In some states like New York, real estate agents are obligated by law to offer every single client they interact with with what we call a DOS form or Department of State form. That form discloses the relationship be between the tenant and the agent. So if the agent doesn't give you or offer that DOS form first, ask for it because it is designed to protect you. If you interact with 10 different real estate agents, you should end up having 10 different DOS forms. As a general rule of thumb, never pay cash. If an agent suggests a cash deposit upfront, that is an immediate red flag. Reliable companies always ask the clients to write a check made payable to the company, not the broker. Doing so helps prevent fraud and protects you. So remember to ask for confirmation receipt when you hand the check to your broker. And remember that that ticket should include the terms of the deposit. So for example, check is non-refundable unless not approved by landlord. Look for testimonials. Experienced agents know that building trust with their potential clients is crucial. Ask agents for testimonials given to them by their past clients and focus on their reaction. If they get offended by something as simple as this, you probably shouldn't work with them. In my experience, every veteran agent has reviews and testimonials ready to share with any potential client. If it seems too good to be true, it probably is. The fact that a listing appears on a big company's website shouldn't lead you to assume that the data provided is right or even real. Enhanced pictures used as bait to attract more clients is sadly a very common practice in the real estate community. It's a deceptive technique called bait and switch, and it happens when you call a real estate agent on a listing that appears to be a bargain. When you call them, they'll tell you that that unit was recently rented and offer you to show you a similar unit, often more expensive, nearby. 
the best way to combat bait and switch is by staying informed about the market's current conditions. Reading online market reports is a great starting point and will help you spot the discrepancies between a listing and its price. Needless to say, every real estate agent should immediately bring down any listing that is no longer available but remains visible to the public. Not doing so is misrepresentation and may lead them to lose their real estate license. Real estate agents should use technology to understand their clients' need and propose solutions that work best for them. Ask for unedited videos, ask for floor plans, ask for testimonials and any data that is difficult to enhance, manipulate or make up. It may feel like a tedious task, but it will only serve to safeguard you from the one of 5.2 million Americans who have lost money to rental scams. Improve your chances of finding the perfect home by being smart and by doing your due diligence.